Cube Boy. Welcome to another video by Cube Boy Collectibles. This is called Quenny's for Days, where we're going to make a two-part silicon mold and do some resin casting. Uh, what you can see here is I'm making the box, which will hold the mold, the initial mold. This is for Quendi. We're going to be casting Quendi. So I'm measuring out so that quendi has got about an inch in all directions around her inside the box and then I'm going to hot glue it together so that it is watertight uh, so that when we fill it with silicon, the silicon can't seep out and make a big old mess everywhere because that would be bad. And there she is. And what I'm doing here is I'm filling the bottom part of the mold with clay and making sure it's all nice and flush against Quendi, who's about halfway sunk into that clay. Uh, making sure it's all nice and smooth and as flat as I can. It's not perfect as this is my first attempt. Uh, I think next time around I'll spend a little bit more time doing that. And what I'm doing here is some registration marks so that when I have two parts of the mold, there'll be little teeth to make it fit together. Almost like a Lego block so that it fits nice and snug. So it's time to make the first silicon mold. Uh, this is just a test. This is literally the first time I've done this, so uh, there's a lot of potential for it to go wrong. Uh, the stuff I'm using today is this Smooth On uh, Umu 30, which is a uh, silicon rubber stuff that comes in two parts. Uh, you mix them together in equal volumes, and then you have, uh, with this particular one, you have a pot life of 30 minutes, which means once you've mixed it, you've got 30 minutes to use it before it starts to harden, and then once you've got it where you want it to be, you've got to leave it for six hours. I'm doing a two-part mold, so I'm going to do the first part of this mold today. As you can see, I packed it in with clay, and uh, uh, there'll be a voiceover. It's fun. Mm, voiceover. Voice. Also, I should point out as well that I'm at uh, Man Pa Cube Boy's garage right now because I live in an apartment. Doing this in my apartment uh, would not have been ideal. I'm being extra cautious, you know. I got my goggles, I got my gloves, I got a long sleeve shirt. And I got a uh, respirator as well because this stuff can get a little bit fumy. Got a bit of a cool Darth Vader vibe going on. Make sure it's nice and tight. Goggles. All right, let's give it a crack. Okay, so as you can see, the Umu comes in two very different colors so that when you mix it together, you can tell when it's mixed properly, it becomes a nice uniform purple. And I do a high pour starting in one corner pouring from as high as I can to reduce bubbles in the mold and just letting it fill from that one corner and then we wait for six hours for it to harden and then we can demold it. We take the sides off and then we remove all the clay and then we have the first half of our mold complete. As you can see, try to leave Quendi inside, put some Vaseline on there to act as a release agent because silicon will stick to silicon and we don't want that. So here I am mixing and pouring the second half of that mold from as high up as I can and then another six hours later we get to demold that and then hopefully all going to plan we have two halves of a mold with a quendi inside that we can now fill with resin and make a copy um, this actually worked out really well I was really stoked you can see a lot of the fun sort of negative details there in the mold I can pop Quendi out now and try fill it with some resin. So this is me sort of just cleaning it up and then once it was clean, putting some talcum powder or some baby powder in there, that just helps the plastic release from the mold so nothing sticks in there and wrecks the mold. Helps uh, keep the mold uh, usable for a little bit longer as well, which is cool. You want to make sure you take care of your mold so they can be used as many times as possible before they start to deteriorate. Uh, and now I'm getting some of that board, putting on either side, putting some rubber bands around it just to stabilize it. I'll make sure that mold stays nice and tight and packed together, but not so tight that it warps. And that was the failed attempt when I just uh, didn't make these pore spouts wide enough. So I widened those and then this is attempt number two where I'm mixing up a second batch of resin after wasting a lot the first time. This time I made a little bit less and as you can see the pore spouts are much wider. Feels nice and easy and now we get to see a cool time lapse of that resin starting to set. As you can see it starts at amber and then it goes a bright white, it gets really hot and then you can see it. Even in the cup there it was very helpful to see the resin slowly starting to set over the course of about 15 minutes and then it was time to demold and check it out. I was really happy with this first, well technically second attempt. As you can see it looks 
like a whole body and there's some flashing to clean up and then we did a rotocast which I lost the footage of but here's me mixing the resin a lot less resin I needed to use this time where basically I fill half of the mold put the mold together clamp it all up again and rotate it around with my hands for about 10 minutes which coats the outside of the mold as you can see here I'm demolding that one now this is the rotocast using the smoothcast 65d from smooth on and there we have another amazing Kwendu. After two long days of uh, making molds, a lot of trial and error, and uh, some cussing. There was some cussing, I didn't show you that. Um, and uh, wasting a little bit more plastic resin than I would have hoped for. We do have something to show which is very exciting. We've got Quendies for days! Um, so this is the first one, uh, well, no, 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 that is a lie. This is the first one. So this is the, the original, the original sculpt. And uh, this was the first uh, fail where I realized, basically what happened is the pore spout into my mold was much too narrow and it just overflowed everywhere and then it hardened before I could do anything about it. Uh, so the only bit that I got cast was just a head of Quendi. So what I thought would be fun is I'll probably drill a hole in this, put it on a pike as a warning to the others. There will be no survivors. And then we had this first uh, somewhat more successful cast of Quendi. This one was made using the Smooth Cast 320. So this is uh, completely solid. Uh, plastic, it's quite uh, quite hard. Um, uh, there's a few issues with bubbling and stuff, but nothing that I can't uh, clean up later on. And then I moved on to what was far more successful, which was Smooth Cast 65D plastic resin, which you can use for rotocasting, which means basically you use uh, less of the resin once you've made it and you rotate the mold and it coats the outside so basically you get a hollow plastic figure so it's not using up an entire solid block of plastic like this so the first one of those turned out pretty good as well I was really happy little um, few issues with the feet which I then uh, fixed for the next one where I realized I had to you know do some things a little bit differently and basically they just got better and better as I went along so now I have uh, I have got uh, four copies now which I'm going to clean up get rid of all this um, this flashing on the side. Obviously that's where the two molds uh, join together there. So I'm just gonna sort of get that sanded and cleaned up nice. Uh, the glasses and the pigtails mold, I will have to do again. It was a bit of a failure. Um, some of them turned out okay. There's a few pairs of glasses that are totally fine and salvageable. In fact, almost all the pairs of glasses are totally fine. The pigtails, however, there was quite a lot of um, sort of bubbling and stuff that happened with them here big air bubbles trapped in there because the way I made the mold just wasn't very smart really so I'm gonna have to redo that one but uh that's uh I'm calling this a win once we've got it down to a you know a fine art we can bust out a whole bunch of these suckers but I'm uh super happy I'm really happy to have my first uh plastic cast it's really cool to finally be uh to be holding one of these um it feels like a real toy, like I love the feel of it, the mold captured all the details and once he's cleaned up, it's going to be something very close to what I want to be putting out there at Cube Boy Collectibles. So we're one step closer and I'm really, really uh, stoked. It's really cool. And so stay tuned because this has been uh, the making of Quendi Part 1. It's only going to get better from here. We hope. Cube Boy.